Hello everyone and welcome back to our tutorial series on energy modeling with Dragonfly. And in this video we're going to cover assigning programs to our Dragonfly building objects. Uh, and we're specifically going to try to get those to align with names that we've already assigned to these building objects, uh, which we know correspond to basically hint at which program should be acceptable for each type. Uh, and just to review, if we remember in our previous episode, we just checked what the programs were automatically assigned when we don't connect anything. And we see that that's just a generic office, which is exactly the way that Honeybee works. Uh, so, all right. So we need to change this now over the course of this video here. So first things first, we'll do like a little bit of review of how programs were assigned in, in, in Honeybee before we get to assigning them in Dragonfly. So if you guys remember, under the Honeybee Energy basic properties, we have a component called HP Search Programs. And so this component gives you a full list of all the various different programs that get shipped with, with Ladybug tools, and it's a lot of them. I guess at this point, we're almost at 1,800. Uh, and these all come from standards. They come from the Open Studio Standards gem, uh, which that in that case comes originally from a set of, uh, of, of buildings called the DOE Commercial Reference Buildings, Department of Energy's Commercial Reference Buildings. But if you remember the way that we selected, uh, you know, which programs we wanted out of this big list, uh, we used a, a component called HP, uh, sorry, yeah, the HP Building Programs. And this gives us a dropdown of all the various building types to which these individual room programs belong. So for example, if I wanted to see all the programs associated with large office, Right. All I had to do is connect up large office here and we see there are about like 23 or so uh, programs, uh, individual room programs for uh, dining and office and corridor. And, you know, we, we had to select which room program was associated, you know, suitable for, for a given uh, honeybee room when we built models that way. Uh, same thing can be said, you know, we have a lot of residential buildings I know we, we have here. So we'll probably use the mid rise apartment attempt a little lot. So, right. We have individual uh, programs that describe how the, how the apartment itself works, how the corridor works, how the office works. Uh, so now probably a lot of you are immediately already thinking that, huh, if I have individual room programs here, how do I really assign those to objects that are meant to represent an entire building, right? Because really what an entire building is, is that it's a mix of these various different individual room programs. Uh, and so there's actually a secret way to to do this within within both Honeybee and Dragonfly that we didn't cover it in the in the Honeybee series, which is that you can actually instead of plugging in and selecting out an individual room program and assigning that as your program to your Dragonfly objects, I can actually take the entire pro building specific you know building name here right Midrise Apartment and plug that in for the program. And you'll see it's actually a valid program within within Ladybug Tools, right? Within the the, the uh, various programs that we ship with Ladybug Tools, uh, right? There's an, a mid-rise apartment building uh, program, and the way that we built this actually is by blending these three different uh, programs uh, using ratios of of floor area, basically from the reference buildings that these these schedules come from, or sorry, these these programs come from, right? So I think, I mean, um, you know, I, I, it's maybe something like 80 or 70% is actually apartment. There's a good 20% that's quarter, maybe 5% that's office, right? And these are being blended together to make this mid-rise apartment building template that can actually be assigned to something as large as a Dragonfly building. So, all right, so this is instrumental, right? Being able to know that you can assign whole building programs, right? The same thing would work for large office as a large office building or for hospitals. Right, we have actually these blended templates already kind of shipped with, with uh, Ladybug tools. So, all right. So, first things first, I'm going to try and collect which building programs I think are most suitable for our various uh, building footprints that we have here. So, all right. So, we have residential. I think for that, I'm, and I'm just to make things simple, I'm going to copy paste uh, this here. So, I want I want to make sure that I have, and actually, let me make this full screen so we can see it. We have residential programs. We have up to six residential buildings here. So those, I think I'm all going to use a mid-rise apartment template for, right? The blended template for that. We have a mall. So I'm going to copy paste this and we'll select out a strip mall, right? From that. Um, great. All right. Then we have residential. Oh, and now here, here we come to a new issue. So we have a mixed use building, right? 
So mixed use, right, would be a blending of probably a, a blending of the already the already blended uh, building programs. So all right, maybe we'll leave this to the side for now. I'm just going to select out the other programs that I know I'm going to need here. So I guess we'll also need a hospital. And honestly, like the buildings we're modeling here are not very big. So I think instead of, yeah, I'm just going to interpret this hospital as an outpatient facility, which is a little bit simpler usually in, in terms of the way that it's energy modeled too. Um, so, all right, I'm going to grab that. And we have an office, right? Uh, so for office, it's maybe looking like it's maybe a medium office size. It's not a very large office. Uh, and it's probably not, it seems larger than just a small office. All right, and then the rest is, oh, almost the rest is residential. We have a restaurant. So let's see, I'll put the restaurant uh, template out of here, right? We have a full service restaurant. That should be good for that. And then lastly, okay, we have another mixed use. All right, so first things first, let's try, we need to get an order of building programs, right? We need to assign those. If we don't want to assign just the same program to everything, like we, what we are right now, we need to get a list uh, of, of essentially of programs get them together and then assign them, make sure that list is aligned with this footprint geo and all the other inputs that we have here. So to help me out with this, I'm gonna use a native grasshopper component called merge. And all that merge does is it allows you to take like, let's say two lists like this, right? You can connect up to do different things and it will put them all together into one list for you. So, right, so I can follow my list here. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll put a filler in for the mixed use right now. <laughs> Maybe we'll just, I'm just going to pull up a panel and type mixed use so that we have something to plug in here as we're building up this list. Um, all right, so let me see. The first things first is residential. So I connected up mid-rise apartment first. Then we have the strip mall is next. That's great. Then we got residential again. So I'll connect residential for the third spot. Then we got mixed use. Okay. Then we've got the hospital, which I said was outpatient. Then we have the office. Then we've got another residential. We'll just reconnect mid-rise apartment. And then whoa, a lot of residential. Okay, residential five, That's this is residential four. Then residential two and one. And then we finally, we have the restaurant. Whoops. Restaurant and then lastly, a mixed use. Okay, and I can zoom in and get rid of this D13 because I know there are only, oh, is this correct? That there are... I have, let's see, 11 values here. Is that the number of buildings that I have? If I, were to, I think actually I might have a different number of buildings. Let me see if I forgot one here. So residential, strip mall, uh, residential, mixed use, hospital, or yeah. Oh, there are two hospitals. All right, so I'm going to zoom in and add an extra one here. I forgot, I forgot a hospital. Okay. <laughs> the urban scale you can forget a whole hospital all right so now we should see right now i have 13 values that are aligned with my 13 buildings right the only thing i'm missing really all these are valid programs we know except for this like random mixed use one that i created here so the way that we're actually going to do this mixed use is that i'm going to make a special blend of programs for them so you can see actually if we look under the honeybee energy tab there's a component that we didn't get the chance to use uh, in the Honeybee Energy series, and it's but it's very super important for urban scale workloads. It's called HB Blend Program Types. And if I grab and I, I drag and drop this component on the canvas, what this allows me to do is it'll take a list of programs and the ratio of those programs within a given building uh, and spit out for me a, a complete blended program object that I can then go and assign to my Dragonfly objects. Right, so this is super useful. A lot of the times you'll know, you know, you'll, all that you'll have is like, you know, rough numbers saying this much floor area of building is office, this much floor area is, is retail, uh, you know, and a certain amount is maybe restaurants, right? And that's all that you get. You don't actually even have the, the geometries to, to know which, which part of the building is which. So you can blend programs together in this case in order to be able to get um, something that would make sense here. So I actually could blend whole building templates if that's what I wanted to do. But I think I'm going to do, well, actually, why not do that? Yeah, so I certainly could take individual room programs, right? If I did a list item here, uh, list item, right? And let's say I were to just select out um, a, uh, oh, sorry, this is still hospital. Maybe I'll go, I'll take mid-rise apartment, right? I can connect the actual, you know, apartment room program 
do my programs here. And then maybe I, you know, uh, I want some of that to actually be corridor, mid-rise apartment corridor, right? I can actually use this to create my own blended programs. Uh, you'll see if I don't plug in anything for ratio, it's going to assume equal ratios for both the programs that I plugged in here. So probably something more realistic for an apartment uh, like this would be, I don't know, what did I say, like 75% um, uh, uh, actual apartment and then 25% corridor. So I can do that simply by double clicking, typing quotations and putting 75 in a panel. I'm, uh, let's see, I'm going to make this multi-line data so I actually get a list out of this component. And I'm going to double click, uh, enter, and type 0 0.25, right? So that I, uh, I have a, a basically a list now of 0 0.75 and 0 0.25. And I can plug that into the ratios. And out of this, I'm getting that blended program out of, out of those two subroom programs. So this is essentially what I want to do. Uh, but yeah, let's actually do this using building programs. So for this case, uh, let's say that our blended mixed-use program, it has some retail. So I'm going to copy and paste uh, this component here, and you know maybe maybe I'm actually going to do away with this whole you know th thing that I have here. And in fact, I'll do away with that that component because I don't really need it. Uh, so all right, we'll say that there's some retail, maybe some like ground floorish type retail, uh, but there's also you know medium office above that. So I'm going to copy paste this uh, and pull out a medium office template. Uh, and let me just make a little space here. Okay. And uh, and then lastly, maybe we'll add one more program in here. We'll uh, we'll say that there's some restaurant within here. All right. So we'll maybe it's, well maybe there'll be all quick service or something that you know the office people are going to going to grab their lunch at. All right. So all right. So we got these mixed use programs, and let's say yeah, I'm gonna say that there, our building is uh, maybe 20% retail, 10% uh, uh, restaurant, and 70% uh, medium office. So in order to do this, I'm going to connect up retail. I'm going to, and you'll see the component's going to turn red because the number of values we plugged in here doesn't align with this one program. So I got to plug in a second item, and then it will run. And then lastly, I need to plug in my last item. It's going to turn red again, right? Because again, there are only two ratios and three programs plugged in here. Um, and as you guys probably already realized, right, the order that of ratios that you assign here has to match the order of the programs that you connect up to this component. Um, and if you, I mean, I think most of you probably know this by now, but the way you connect up multiple uh, inputs or multiple items to a single input is that you just hold down shift when you connect it, right? That's how I'm getting, oops, that's how I'm getting these uh, three values connected up here. So, all right. So, again, we said retail is going to be 0.2. Restaurant was going to be 0 0.1, and office is going to be 0 0.7. I think if I do that, yeah, now I get a nice uh, blended program for my mixed mixed use. Uh, the one thing is you guys will see the name of this program, right? If we don't assign anything, it auto-generates this random string of characters. So all that I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a name for this, uh, and I'll just call it mixed use building. Hit enter to do that. And right, and so this sounds like a good uh, name, enough name for a program. Maybe I could have been more specific about what exactly I was mixing, but you know, I think it's good enough for our purposes here. All right, so out of this now, we're getting this mixed use building program. Uh, and now what I want to do, I'm going to group all this together, right? This, uh, oh, and I'm going to, maybe I'll move this down so that we have a little more. A little more room here, right? And so instead of applying this like little string that says mixed use, now instead I'm going to actually apply my program object that's coming out of this. So the easy way I can transfer the inputs from this component to that component is that I do Control Shift on my keyboard, and then I can just go and drag these two and connect these up to here, right? And so now that's going to give me right now I'm getting a list of actual programs that I know can be assigned to my uh, to my, my buildings right and instead of I know it says it says mixed use building right or it says program type mixed use building right we know that this is an actual program type object now uh, that'll be valid to assign to our um, our building so all right let me just group I'm going to group these together uh, just clean up the definition here before I uh, kind of wrap up uh, wrap up this so all right so now that we've got right the, these are are aligned basically with our footprint geos the one thing you guys remember, right, uh, going back to the very first video where we had data trees, right, this is a list of lists or a data tree, right, and this is now just a single list. So to make these all compatible with each other, I need to graft this, right, and so now we're getting one item basically out for each of the, 
uh, right, in a way that's aligned with the way that our our input is being created here. So, all right, let me let me put this back here. And if I go and I connect our merged list of building programs up to the DF building from footprint, now we should see. I'm going to go back over to the Rhino scene, and ooh, that looks a lot nicer. All right, all right. So we can actually see which buildings we assign the strip mall to, which ones are outpatient. Our mixed two mixed use buildings are at either corner here, I guess. Um, and then we've got so you know our mid-rise apartment, medium office, right? All right, so this looks like a lot more like a nice, you know, maybe this is almost like a little new urbanist than the type of mix that we have here, right? We got a lot of mixed uses in this new development, um, and uh, and this will make for a very interesting energy model, I'm sure, right? Because we've got a lot of different programs, uh, and you know, a lot of different. Uh, things, a lot of different heating, cooling values, I'm sure, happening at different times, uh, right? A lot of interesting load profiles. So, all right. So I know it took us a while to assign these programs and to, to organize them in a list that uh, that makes sense, right? Uh, but I think now we, we essentially have all the energy properties, right? We've got constructions and programs assigned in a way that makes sense. I know we're just simulating an ideal air system, as I showed in the last video, but I think that's good enough for our first model. Um, there is, however, one thing that we should probably check before we go and you know start putting this together into a uh, a final simulation uh, to to execute, and that's that we should probably check what what uh, has been assigned for windows and shades to see if there's anything on these objects. So that's what we're going to do in the next uh, next video. We're going to take these buildings, we're going to merge them all together into a model, uh, and we're going to visualize what those um, what what the windows are assigned to here. So hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you for joining for this one.